set up a sum formula using the two formulas that we have for sum. You guys know that SN, we have two formulas for SN, and you should know that SN is the sum of the first n terms. And there's two guys, the first one is when we have n over 2, a plus l. We know that n is the number of terms, a is uh, the first term, l is the last term. So you'd use that formula if you know your first term and last term. But otherwise, if you've got your first term and d, which is the common difference, you'd have to use the second formula, which is a little bit bigger, um, n over 2, 2a two plus n minus 1d. So make sure you pick which one would be a bit more appropriate for a different scenario. So let's try to remember those two and use, some quest um, use those to answer some questions. So question 1 says the first term of an arithmetic sequence, it tells us that it's 5, and the second term is 11. Find the sum of the first 70 terms. So, they give us some information here and we're going to utilize it. They know, we know that the first term is 5 and the second term is 11. So, which means the first term is just 5. We can know that A is going to be 5, isn't it? Now, they tell us what the second term is. So, if we know what the first term is and the second term is of an arithmetic sequence, we can find the common difference. It's just the difference between the second term and the first term, isn't it? The first term is 5, the second term is 11. We'd have to add 6 to get from 5 to 11. And you can just see that by doing 11 minus 5. That's just 6. So, we know what the common difference is. And what is going to be n, guys? 70 terms. We want to find the sum of 70 terms. So, n will be 70. That's the number of terms we want to add up. So guys, this one, because we know A and D and N, we'll have to use this formula here. Uh, and let's just, just put the values in. So N is going to be 70, so I've replaced the N with 70. And you can see that the 70 goes into that N as well. And then A is 5, so I'm going to replace the A with 5. And you can see the common difference I've replaced with 6. And let's just simplify it, guys. And you just get that. So you just simplify and the calculation I'm just thinking you guys should be able to do by yourself. Make sure you do the brackets first, all the brackets first, and then you multiply 70 divided by 2, which is 35, and you multiply it. So go work from the inside out. Be very, very careful, and that's something you should get. So that's the sum of the first 70 terms. Now, let's do another one. It says the first term of an arithmetic sequence, they tell you it's 7, and the fifth term is 19. So, we know what the first term is, and the fifth term is 19. First of all, what we want to do is find the common difference. Now, I'm going to try to use my TN formula because they tell us the fifth term is 19. So, I want to know what value, what common difference makes the fifth term 19 by using our TN formula, a plus n minus 1d. And we know what the first term is. The first term is 7, so replace the a with 7, guys. The n, they say it's the fifth term, so I'm going to put 5 into n. d, we don't know, and that's what we want to find, right? They tell us that this value is going to be 19, so I equate it with 19. So now let's just simplify it and solve for d. 5 minus 1 is 4, so it becomes 7 plus 4d equals to 19. Let's subtract away the 7, so it becomes 12 on the right-hand side. And then finally, divide by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, and then we get d. So that's the common difference. How simple was that? Um, simply using this bit of information there, but make sure you know that we're going to be using the TN formula. Now, so d is 3. I'll just leave that there. Let's move on to part b. It says find the sum of the first 10 terms. So this time we want to find the sum. Now, guys, we know what the common difference is. So we have to use our formula here where common <coughs> sorry difference is going to be 3. And we know that the first term, they tell us it's going to be 7. So I'll replace the a with the 7. And what's n going to be, guys? It's going to be 10, isn't it? So I've replaced the n with 10, so s10. 10. 10 over 2. 2 times a, which is 7. n is going to be 10. And the common difference, we found it in part a, it was 3. Just put it all in, guys. Do the brackets first. 10 minus 1 is 9. Times 3 is 27. Plus it to the 14. And then multiply it by the 10 on 2, which is 5. And just calculate that for me. It should be 250. So that's just the answer. That's the sum of the first 10 terms in this arithmetic series.